Happy New Year, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Illinois Corn TV. Today, we will meet the winners of the whiskey competition. Well, fifth generation farmer Jamie Walter and his father farm in DeKalb, and about 20 years ago, they were looking to diversify. Well, they landed on award-winning whiskey. Let's learn about how certain characteristics of corn affect flavor and output. One thing I would tell people about what we're doing here at Whiskey Acres is corn varietals matter to flavor and the final spirit. Um, we've experimented with quite a few varietals. We have our own hybrid now that we've developed and it definitely makes a difference. So what, what we're talking about here is, is um, we'll use heritage varietals like Bloody Butcher. We've used Blue Popcorn, Oaxacan Green Corn, Glass Gym, and Italian Flint Corn. We have our own hybrid of, of a heritage, two heritage varieties. Um, and then just when we're talking about Yellow Dent, um, we use a lot of that in our both our bourbon production and also our rye production. Well, 2023 was an informative year at Illinois Corn, and we've compiled the top 20 most read corn stories of the year. From the latest trends in clean energy initiatives to the challenges posed by ambitious fuel efficiency standards, you can check out all of the stories at ilcorn.org. The most read story of 2023 was, of course, Gifts for Illinois Farmers followed by Ways to Strengthen Illinois Clean Energy Future. And rounding out the top three was Family Farmers and Free Trade Agreements Behind the Wheel. Now, as we look ahead to the new year, power costs for farmers raising corn and soybeans have been increasing over the last few decades. With concerns rising about lower returns in 2023 and 24, there is a growing need to cut power costs. University of Illinois Farm Management Extension Specialist Gary Schnitke said the cost of power in production primarily relates to machinery. And it has increased like all of our costs. So a lot of that is just general inflation, but we've really seen it taken, taken off since COVID. And that in those COVID years, um, we were at $130 per acre two years ago, and now, as you say, we're at $167 per acre. A lot of that, again, relates to um, higher, just higher prices of machinery. New machinery is, is, is increased in price over time, and repairs also have gone up. And both of those are, you know, related to a lot of things, but just labor cost and the uh, uh, impacts of the uh, New labor agreements at Deer and elsewhere have increased those costs quite a lot. Finally, voting has begun on our Facebook page of some very meaningful harvest pictures. Voting ends on January 3rd and the most likes receives a $50 gift card. We will see you next week on the next episode of Illinois Corn TV.